Francis Buckley, and welcome to another episode of Studio Rescue, this time with a little bit of mystery. Today, we're going to go meet a gentleman named Eliseo, who is in uh, slightly unusual circumstances in his studio. So, uh, what do you say we go rescue Eliseo's studio? Hey, Eliseo. Oh, hey, Francis. How are you, man? I'm good. Yourself? Not too bad. Give me a Not sec. Too bad. I'm just... Sorry, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So uh, this is your setup, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's... Right? Yeah. Well, tell me what's, uh, what's, what's the problems here. Uh, well, I'm hearing these things and I'm not happy with the way I'm hearing things. Right. So right. it's getting frustrating and every time I'm trying to record, well, I get frustrated and I don't, sometimes I don't even do much. Right. I don't right. get much done. Right. Uh, you're having, what, probably bottom end problems? Yeah, yeah, I have, I have a lot of bottom end uh -huh. problems. Right, uh, balance problems. You get take take stuff out of here, and it doesn't sound outside. Yeah, like it does that's here. the biggest problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, with home studios, there's always some problem that you're going to have to deal with because it's never going to be an ideal environment. Right. Okay. So let's just kind of you know sort of take a look around and see what we got here. Yeah, yeah. First of all, it's a garage, and mm -hmm. it has the garage door. Okay. That's, we're gonna have to cover this. We're, we're gonna put some panels on here to knock down some of the reflections. Um, I think the first thing that we should do is we need to get you out from the wall, okay? You're too, you're too tight back in against the wall, right. okay? Give the, give the room you know, a little chance to work. Uh, you do have a nice long throw to the back wall over here. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like you're, you're, you're tight in. This is a normal garage. This is probably 22 feet. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? So we should be able to get enough bottom end in here, okay? okay? You're also dealing with the fact that you have a curtain here. Now, what's behind the curtain is the great mystery, okay? Uh, but that's, it's not acting as a wall. It's, and it's not really act, even acting as a sound barrier. It's just, you know, it's just something there to divide the room is really all it is. Yeah. Uh, so you're not, you're never gonna, you're never gonna achieve the balance that you need, because the whole thing with, with setting up a studio is balance, trying to get even, uh, space around your speakers, getting your speakers set right, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do what we can to make this room work. Appreciate it. You know, yeah. uh, you know, like I said, I think we'll pull it out and move this couch back a little bit, get this rug pulled out. Uh, we're probably going to have to put some kind of a cloud up here because it's a cement floor, concrete slab, you know, nice and yeah. reflective. But you know, the thing is. It's not that reflective in here, as I thought when you told me the studio was in the garage. I was yeah, going, oh my yeah. gosh, it's in the garage, you know. Take a lot of trip. Um, yeah, but it's really not, you know. I, and I imagine that Slash has probably got something to do with it. I mean, you put up a Slash poster, automatically rooms sound better. I don't know what it is about <laughs> Slash, but for some reason, you hang that poster up, especially when it's got this kind of lean to it. You know, yeah, I it's just something, halfway falling it's apart. breaking up the wave. We're probably yeah. going to take that down and ruin hey. the sound of the studio. Hey, but we got to do what we got to do, you know. Uh, and, um, you know, like I said, at least you got a big space around here. You got your washer and dryer oh, yeah. so that you can, you know, do a little laundry in between, you know. All right. So, uh, you know, I don't think we got a lot, you know, I think what we ought to do, too, is I think we ought to get you a new desk. Yeah, I've thought Because of that. this is, you know, so I think what we'll do, we'll get you a new desk. We'll we'll get you set up with the with the panels here, and um, we'll make it happen. So, you let's rescue man. LSAO Studio. Here we go. First time I've ever seen a studio with its own laundromat. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, I like the desk. Looks really nice. We got you pulled out from the wall a little bit, so you got a little bit of space. Uh, but the most important thing we have to do is we have to set our speakers. Okay. Now you've got two sets of speakers, so that presents a little bit of a of a of a I don't want to call it a problem, but a little bit of a situation. Okay. So sit down in your chair and get yourself into your comfortable listening position. Now you told me these were going to be your mains, right? Yeah. These are the ones that you're going to use mostly. Okay. So I'm going to, going to kind of get them situated in a place that they're... So what they need to do is when you get, get in your... like all you right, were going to be right. working. Okay. Now we want to get these turned and pointed 
directly at you. Okay, so they're looking directly at you. Now let me come over here and get this one. Okay. Now, setting up the speakers is the most important because that's everything else has to revolve around your speaker setup. Okay, so if something if something doesn't the speakers are right and something doesn't fit in, we got to make it fit in. But the way this table is set up, it's, it, it looks to me like it's going to be set nicely. But we have to do one thing, because you don't really want to just set the speakers on this wood, because it will act as a sounding board, okay? And you'll get vibrations and whatnot through here. So from our buddies at Vicoustics, who are going to be providing us with all the acoustic treatment that we're going to do here, we're going to use these, what are called Vicoustics speaker feet, okay? And what they are is, they're just little... Uh, uh, foam and they're going to separate, they're going to help to decouple the speaker from the um, from the, 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 the desktop. Okay, and we're going to put these in the front and put one in the back so that it's level again. Okay, now we're pointing nice and straight right at you, right? There, like this. We still pointed at you nicely. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to measure from the center of the cone of this speaker over to the center of the cone of this speaker. And we're looking at three feet. Okay, there's our three feet, right? Now I want to take this measurement and I want to come out to your ears. And you are, we could go just a little bit. When you're, gonna, when, you're, when you're working, you're kind of leaning in, right? You're sort of sitting up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you, this is your triangle, this spot here for these speakers. Now for these speakers, these speakers are gonna be 56, okay? Which means the real sweet spot, we try not to hit you in the face doing this. The real sweet spot for these guys is gonna be back here. So okay, so back. if you're going to use these, you kind of need to slide back into it. But we, you know, we make a little adjustments. How's that looking? I think just just a tilt. Okay. And see, this one's actually sitting in a little a little more in through the on the wood. Okay. How's that? Now you'll notice what I did down here with these speaker stands. I turned the speaker stands so that the point goes underneath so that they can't fall over. Okay, they're gonna catch. Okay, it's a little bit, little bit of earthquake. Okay, all right. But these are pretty good solid stands, okay. So now we can measure one more time since we moved them a bit. Okay, and we're looking at 54, 64. So again, your sweet spot, back up a little bit, I'll tell you when. Back up, back up, back up. Hope, hope, come, come forward a little bit. Okay, that's your sweet spot for these speakers. Okay, but it is because they, you, you have to be on this triangle. Okay, so you slide into this position for these, you're gonna use these, you wanna back out a little bit. Okay, so there's our speaker set. And that's the most important thing in the room is getting the speaker set. All right, so now we've got our speaker set up. What we have to find now is what's called the angle of first reflection. And the angle of first reflection is the first place that the audio coming off the speakers hits a surface. And generally, it's right on the side, okay? So we do this cool little trick that we have where we take a little mirror like this and we slide the mirror along the wall until you can see the speaker. So what you want to do now is slide up into your work position because we're going we're gonna to concentrate on these speakers. Okay. Okay? All right? So get comfortable in your position. I'm going to take this mirror and I'm going to slide the mirror along the wall. When you see the cone, the white cone of that speaker in the mirror, you, you just tell me to stop. Okay? Here you go. I'm going to slide it along. Stop. Okay. So that's where you're seeing it. Yeah. Here. Okay. All right. So this is for this one. All right. Now slide back out to the position for these guys, okay, which was right about there. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. And you tell me when you see that one. There. Okay. I'm going to leave the mirror here as a mark. Look. <laughs> I'm going to cover them both. Okay. So we're going to kind of get right in the middle here, which is almost right smack in the middle of this. 
Okay? So this is where we'll hang. We'll probably put one here, and we'll probably put a second one here. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing we need to do with our Vicoustics material is, these are bass traps, okay? And bass traps go in corners because bass energy tends to travel around the room and build up in the corners. And what this does is, this impedes that motion of the bass, okay? So we've made a little mark up here where you had the bass traps before, and I'm just going to, with the Velcro, I'm just going to take and get these guys right back. You know, I got them up just a little too high, I think. Just get these back, right back into the corners with this Velcro. Just like downtown, man. Okay, those are gonna take care of your, some of your base problems. Okay, so we got it all set up. Got the panels up, base traps in, First reflection panels, everything is pretty much ready to go. So what I want you to do, sit down, get this thing all fired up, and I'll be right back. All right. Uh... Okay, Elisa, this is for you oh. to say thank you for letting us come down and rescue your studio. This is a Rode NT2A large nice. cap condenser microphone. Okay, uh, Great microphone, one of my favorite all around microphones. It sounds good on just about everything. In fact, I really can't think of anything it doesn't sound good on. Okay? It's got your, your three polar patterns, your two roll offs, your pad. It also comes with this really nifty shock mount. Okay. Great shock mount, but it has this really super cool built-in windscreen that just pops right up into place. Okay? It's got a little telescope on it so that if you're using a different microphone or you get, get it right smack in place. It's a really, Perfect. really cool setup. Okay? But we're not finished. It also comes with, from our good friends at Vicoustics, it comes with a flexi screen light, which is a shield that goes around behind the microphone like this and forms a little vocal booth. Because in home recording studios, we're not always in an ideal environments, which we're kind of not in an ideal environment right now. It's a garage, but we've done what we could to, to, to pull it around. This is gonna give you a little bit of a vocal booth. It's really gonna improve the sound of the microphone by keeping down any kind of unwanted sounds coming in from behind it. All right, well, you are all ready to go. Enjoy you. your new studio. I want to hear some great stuff coming out of here. And LSAO Studio has been rescued. Well, that was a pretty interesting studio rescue. First time I ever did a garage. But you can see what we were up against. We had a lot of lively surfaces around there. That was our first concern. So we got his desk pulled out, got him a new desk, got that pulled out from the wall, got his speakers all set up, took care of some panels on the garage door, uh, bass traps in the corners, got the place set up, feeling a lot better. And I know that LSAO is gonna be a lot happier with the recordings he's gonna get out of there now. So thanks again to our friends from Vicoustics for all the stuff, the flexi screen light, the bass traps. Uh, you guys are great. And again to Rode Microphone for another gorgeous NT2A microphone. Hey, I'm Francis Buckley, and I'll see you again on Studio Rescue. And hey, if your studio's in need of a rescue, just log on to rodemic.com slash studio rescue, and we'll see what we can do for you.